What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dirty Wormy. I'm coming at you with another video. And when it comes to Dragon Age Veilguard, this game has been bogged with controversy after controversy ever since the initial trailer launched back in, oh God, four months ago. And immediately got ratioed because everybody was calling it out as just this cringy, garbage filled trailer that just looked hideous, disturbing, and awful. And was also filled with just modern day BS and with you have the music, you have all this stuff. And people were like, God, this doesn't look like Dragon Age. Now, when it comes to me, I didn't talk much about Dragon Age because I'm not a huge Dragon Age fan. I think I played the first one, bits of the second one, and that's about it. I've, I've played Inquisition a little bit. I, I think I finished them. I don't remember. It's been forever since I played these games. They weren't for me. So I wasn't talking about this game because I didn't have much to go on. I had rumors. I had speculation, had things here or there, but I need a little bit more grounded information and more proof of what's going to be in the game before I can actually go out and discuss what's happening with this game. But what I can tell you is audiences have been liking what they've been seeing audiences have already been turned off and this does look like a monumental disaster for Bioware in the making and potentially going to shut the studio down altogether and and some latest news in regards to Dragon Age we've had things like this streamers critical of Bioware Dragon Age not given review codes if you were critical to about anything that was coming out about the game any of the news any of the rumors any of the speculation if you're critical about the game at all you were not allowed to get codes you were not allowed to actually review the game they only wanted positive feedback they only wanted positive discussion about the game now there are people that are critical about the game that did get review codes but it is interesting to see how people are being limited in the review capability because they are critical about the game. Dragon Age The Veilguard gameplay confirms game is ultra woke. Not only have we had, you know, the pictures of the transitional scars and all the breast chest scars and things like that, how the characters look abysmal, how each character looks just hideous. There's more aspects about the game that prove that the game is ultra woke and is filled with identity politics and as we move on dragon age the veil guard described as piece of garbage and the tombstone of bioware and with all this information coming out with all this stuff coming out it's no real shocker that when we come over to ign they decided to give the game a nine out of ten IGN, the bastion of middle of the road ratings, the bastion of never actually coming out here and giving a hard take on anything, decided to stamp its nine mark on Dragon Age Veilguard, even saying, if we never get another Dragon Age, at least it got to go out on a high note with Dragon Age the Veilguard. Enjoyable action combat, a fantastic cast of allies with sweeping story arcs all their own, top-notch cinematics, and moving, nuanced character writing are the wings on which this triumphant dragon soars. If we never get another Dragon Age, at least it got to go out on a high note. And I don't really think it's that high of a note, considering when we come over here to IGN's YouTube channel and we take a look at the actual review itself, it's massively ratioed. Coming in with 4.5 thousand upvotes to 21,000 downvotes. And when we actually look at the comments, it's getting roasted for an objectively awful review that is blatantly obvious that somebody got paid off or they're saying all this stuff to get that access, to get that corporate access. Oh, and you can see it right here, so no matter. Uh, check skill ups review. Every interaction sounds like HR is in the room. IGN needs to actually talk about what you do in the game. Their reviews always dance around that for some reason. The dislike ratio is crazy high. I only clicked on this because I was curious to see how much IGN was going to lie to my face, not because I was curious about the game. And it keeps getting worse because people were pointing out something very interesting about IGN and some of the rating systems, considering they gave Dragon Ball Sparking Zero... Uh, a, a 7 out of 10. A, a massive 7 out of 10. And just said it's good. 
Now, we've seen IGN's reviews before and some of their takes on stuff as well. And I believe it was Stellar Blade got a 6 out of 10 or a 7 out of 10 as well. And gamers love Sparking Zero. Gamers love Stellar Blade. But gamers expecting anything different in regards to Dragon Age? Nah, we're going to give it a 9. We're going to stamp this 9 because how great this game is. Because it pushes our ideology and our values. And we have some examples of what's actually going on in Dragon Age Veilguard. When we come over here to Package Gruel over on Twitter... Um, she points something interesting out. Dragon Age, the Veil Guard face of a hero that can get it done is establishing transgender identity. You come over here, uh, take a long, hard look in it. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. Establish transgender identity and unlocks new dialogue options and future conversations. And, and, and there it is. I... Just establish that trans ideology. Uh, uh, Dragon Age fans respond to this probably. Uh, and then you get it again. You get it all over again. Take a lo long, hard look at it. Kid, it'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. Establish transgender identity and unlock new dialogue options and future conversations. If you're trans and you come out as being trans you get different conversations you get different dialogue boxes it's a specialty to come out as being trans oh but we have other examples now this is a snippet from skill ups review of the game but i just i want you guys to listen to the dialogue and how it goes back and forth okay i, I want you guys to hear this emmerick you clearly find talking about dragons boring what how who doesn't like dragons Aren't you curious why Tash likes them as much as you like necromancy? The question crossed my mind. And maybe Emric could help demystify magic, Tash. And I pause it there because Skillop comes in to give his opinion. But I don't disagree with his opinion. This is how you talk to toddlers. Not full-grown adults. Toddlers. You, you, you go back and forth with a toddler and go like, Hey! You know, maybe you guys can understand on why you two talk about these subjects so much because you two are deeply invested in it. And maybe that helps you understand why you're in debt invested. In this is toddler talk. It's like you're three-year-olds. It's like you're talking to toddlers. This is obviously a full-grown man here. And I don't even know what the heck this is anymore because they completely changed up this race. What's going on with this dialogue? Here, I'll let Skill finish what he was going to say here because it's objectively awful. See what I mean? That is not how you speak to adults. That is how you speak to a toddler when you are teaching them to share their Optimus Prime toy with their little brother. Again, don't disagree. Don't disagree at all. But clips like this are going everywhere. Screenshots like this are going everywhere. Nobody likes what they're seeing right now, and it's just more and more proof that Bioware is doomed. Dragon Age Veilguard is going to struggle and is just filled with identity politics, woke BS, and from the ground up was just based on all this modern day bullcrap California garbage. Nobody wants this in their fantasy adventure game in which you have magic and stuff going on. No, we have to be inundated with what goes on in your California bubble, modern day bullcrap all over the place in a fantasy game that has no connection to the real world. Oh, but you got to have it. You got to have the representation all over the place. You got to have it. Oh, the development cost of Dragon Age The Veil Guard could be estimated at between $80 million dollars and $150 million. The game is going to flop so hard. It's going to be the end of Bioware, and we're going to sit here and watch every second of it. Nobody is interested in this game, and it tells when you see the ratios on every trailer revolving around this game, when you see the articles and what people are discussing, when you see IGN is getting destroyed for their very biased review, this game is doomed, and it's going to be funny 
watching it all burn when this was all extremely predictable but i'm gonna leave it there guys let me get you guys thoughts on all this down in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with friends hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for every time i put out a new video live guys and i'll see you on the next one bye for now